So today, we are going to make a puppet. Yay! <laughs> and also discuss the engineer design process. So I always like to utilize that topic because we're using it all the time and we use it every day. And first step I'm gonna do is go over the things that you're going to need. And if you don't have it, it is quite all right. Cause I just bought some stuff from the dollar store and use whatever I have, okay? First thing you're gonna need, you're definitely gonna need a sock. See, I had to buy this cause I don't really wear a lot of socks. Cause I don't really wear too many tennis shoes. So you need a sock, any kind of sock, black, white, yellow, purple, whatever color you like, all right? And then you're gonna need some yarn or something that can resemble like hair. Don't cut your own hair, and don't do that. But if you want to, it's up to you. But you need some yarn for hair. I have these little eyeballs, but if you don't have them, it's okay, you can make your own. In addition to that, I have these little I guess you can call them little balls. What do they call them? Pom-poms, duh. You need some pom-poms, yay! Make sure you grab your pom-poms. If you don't have them, it is quite all right if you do not have them. Hey, Tiffany! If you do not have your pom-poms, all right? Now, next thing you are going to need either cloth or I have these little diamond studs here. You can have the uh, cloth or diamond studs, something for the mouth. It could be red, pink, um, and when I say cloth, like a fabric or paper, it's up to you. Um, I have these little fuzzy tubes, pipe tubes, that's what they call them, I believe. The name is not on here, so I don't know. I have feathers, so just random stuff. More yarn, cup, scissors, glue gun. In addition to that, I also have a Sharpie, all right? So first things first, find your sock and you are going to test it out and put it on your hand and you will put this on your hand where the part for your toes. You see that? You see? And so we are going to give our puppet a name. So I'm gonna name my puppet E-Dog because we're talking about engineer design. I know that's kind of corny, but I'm gonna name my puppet E-Dog, okay? And what you're going to do, you will need your Sharpie. The Sharpie is gonna be used to help you glue where you want your eyes, your features to be, okay? And so with the engineer design process, a lot of people, what they don't know is that it is a functional process for a product or process. And what do I mean by functional? Meaning it has steps in it. So there are specific steps to design something to work, either a process, like there's a process when you go to school, right? Product, like this phone that we're using. It has different steps in it in order for it to work. All right, now, next step, with the engineer design process, I want to turn e-dog into a functional product of a puppet. So how do I do that? So the best solution that I'm gonna choose for, uh, for e-dog, which is engineer design, is based on all the materials that I put together and I may not use all of them. I'm gonna use what works best to design this sock and turn it into a puppet and give e-dog some characteristics. So let's get started. First things first, I want to take my Sharpie, right? I am going to close my fist and put two dots where I want his eyes to go. Now, if you can't see it this way, just turn it around. Wherever you want his eyes to sit, you're gonna put two dots. Now, next thing, I want to put a dot where I want his nose to be. to do with this Sharpie, I'm going to design his mouth. So you do not have to design a mouth. If you want, you can just draw a line straight across, or you can open your hand and draw like a U, but a closed in U.
All right, now you are going to glue on your eyes. Glue on your eyes, glue on your eyes. Go ahead and get your glue gun. If you don't have pom-poms, you can roll up some paper or you can roll up another material and make a ball and glue it down on your sock. So far, as you can see, E-Dog has his little eyes. All right, I'm not done yet, okay? See that? Have little pom-poms up there. Now, those of you that have these little eyeballs, they're not real eyeballs, of course, you are going to, you can use the big ones or you can use the little one. Okay, so if you notice, I have a big eye and a little eye. <laughs> now the next step I'm going to do, I want to take a small little pom-pom and I want to put a color, pick a color. So I'm gonna try this fuchsia. Well, it's kind of like fuchsia, dark, well, light, well, it's like a purple color. Well, in the light, it looks like fuchsia. That's my favorite color, by the way. And I am going to glue this down for his nose. So I have his nose glued on. You see, E-Dog is starting to come to life already. So now I'm going to fill in the mouth. I have these cute little diamond studs. Well, they're not diamond, but you get what I'm saying. They're cubic, well, bedazzle. I'm going to bedazzle out the mouth. And around the square part on the inside and also the little, uh-oh, the little black line that I did here, I'm gonna put uh, the rhinestones there too. Again, it doesn't have to be this color. It could be pink, it could be yellow, whatever color you want it to be. And now I'm going to go over the line at the top. Now you see, my mouth is red, yay! E-Dog has features now. And remember, this is our prototype. So you have the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Now, what else are we missing? Hmm, maybe some hair would work. Let's add on a little bit of hair for E-Dog, okay? today and in the words of e-dog thank you and see you soon